The picturesque coastal city of Cape Town set the backdrop for Africa's richest horse racing event. No, I wouldn't do them when... The race arguably one of Africa's biggest and most expensive, with the prize money of 2.5 million rand, an equivalent of 30 million shillings for the winner. The one-day event held at the Kenilworth Racecourse attracted over 50,000 people, with most arriving in spectacular fashion, literally. According to organizers, over 10 nationalities were represented. We've got people from Kenya, we've got people from Malawi, people from Zimbabwe, which is just fantastic. Interestingly, their reasons for attending the 34th edition of the event were different, as some thronged the main stand to catch a glimpse of the thoroughbreds in action. Others had their attention on the sidelines where fashion and entertainment was in plenty. I was curious to find out why some of them attended the event. Why did you come to the JBN Met? Is it for the horse racing or for the social part of it? No, it is for uh, the social part of it because we wanted to meet like different people from different uh, places as, is, as it is our first time being here. Well, evidently the JNB Met 2011 edition seems to be more of a social event as opposed to a sporting event. But according to the organizers, the social aspect plays an integral part to the success of any sporting event. Loni Pizzo of South Africa Tourism explains. People have to be entertained when they are there. If there is no game, if you are hosting a soccer match or a soccer game, people have to be able to do other things outside of the, the game because the game is only 90 minutes. And then what do you do with the rest of the time? Pizzo believes South Africa's ability to host major sporting events, such as the World Cup attracting thousands of tourists annually, is as a result of the country's ability to incorporate the social aspect. <laughs> He believes African countries, including Kenya, have the potential of hosting major sporting events, albeit with proper infrastructure. You need to have the capacity, you need to be able to have the stadiums um, that are capable of hosting uh, you know, a certain number of people that, are, that will be able to do it in a safe manner. Jockey Gerrit Schlechter, riding the horse past master, went home a happy jockey, clinching the main prize of 2.5 million rand. Bernard Ndong for Citizen Sports, Cape Town, South Africa.